physical quantities and units. Physical quantity or physical magnitude is a physical property of a phenomenon, body or substance that can be quantified by measurement. That quantity which can be measured by an instrument is also physical quantities. Force, Momentum, Inertia, Acceleration, Velocity etc. are some physical quantities. The physical quantity expressed in two parameters that is physical quantity is equal to numerical value into its selected unit. Fundamental quantities Fundamental quantities are numbers that we need to describe the world around us which we cannot express in terms of simpler, more basic quantities. There are only a certain, very limited number of physical quantities that have been chosen as fundamental or base quantities which are independent of each other. All other physical quantities derived from the base quantities can be expressed in terms of a combination of the fundamental or base quantities are called the derived quantities. A set of fundamental units is a set of units for physical quantities from which to express all quantities in physics are seven given as mass, length, time, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance, luminous intensity. Measurement of length Length measurement is implemented in practice in many ways. We are already familiar with some direct methods for the measurement of length. Measurement of large distance Large distance such as the distance of a planet or a star from the earth cannot be measured directly with a meter scale. An important method in such cases is the parallax method. Very small lengths like the size of a molecule or an atom and the spacing between them cannot be measured using simple devices. Measurement of the molecular size of any compound requires very high-tech instruments. To estimate the molecular size, we use oleic acid. We will make a very thin layer of oleic acid over the surface of water. The layer is so thin that it can be assumed that it contains a single molecule of oleic acid in its thickness. Therefore, an estimate of the thickness of this layer will give an estimate of the molecular size of oleic acid. Measurement of Mass Mass is the amount of matter in an object. It is a basic property of matter. It does not depend on the temperature, pressure or location of the object in space. The kilogram is not a convenient unit of mass when we are dealing with atoms or molecules. In such cases, we use another important additional standard unit of mass called the Unified Atomic Mass Unit represented by the symbol U. One Unified Atomic Mass Unit is equal to 1 by 12 of the mass of an atom of carbon 12 isotope 12. Move to a different planet and an object's weight will change but its mass will be the same. There are a couple of ways to measure mass. The most important method is to use a balance. Measurement of gravitational mass is based on the principle of levers. The animation consists of light but a rigid metallic beam balanced at a center on knife edge and and the central vertical pillar. From the two ends of beam, two pans are suspended with the help of knife edges. The body to be weighted is placed on left pan and standard weight on the right pan. The force is used to handle the weight. The weight is adjusted till the beam become horizontal when it is gravitational force on the weight. Here, the gravitational mass of the body will be equal to that of standard weight. Measurement of time Time is a measure in which events can be ordered 
from the past through the present into the future and also the measure of durations of events and the intervals between them. Time is often referred to as the fourth dimension along with the three spatial dimensions. The cesium atomic clocks are very accurate. In principle, they provide portable standard. The national standard of time interval second as well as the frequency is maintained through four cesium atomic clocks. Some practical units of time. Century. One century is equal to hundred years. Year. It is the time taken by Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun in its orbit. Lunar month. It is the time taken by the moon to complete one revolution around the earth in its orbit. 1 lm is equal to 29.53059 days. Solar day. A solar day is the time it takes for the earth to rotate about its axis so that the sun appears in the same position in the sky. Sidereal day. The time required for a single rotation of the earth on its axis in reference to any star or to the vernal equinox at the meridian equal to 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.09 seconds in units of mean solar time.